and um, I wanted to go back to bed. It was still early in the morning, and my mom kept calling me and calling me, and I thought she had just wanted me to do something around the house, but I finally answered. And when I did, she had told me that there was a shooting at Vicky's school. And can you just from the end, we're, we're doing the family perspective. You heard from Bill. Can you just tell us what happened next? After she had told me that there was a shooting, she left the hospital and picked me up at home. And then we proceeded to pick up my brother, who was in high school. And with all three of us in the car, we drove up to Sandy Hook. And what happened when you got there? There were so many people running, holding their kids. Kids were crying. Oh, I had asked out the window if anyone had seen Mrs. Soto. And they said, no, park can go up to the firehouse. And so we did. My mom parked the car and I ran. She told me just to run. And so I ran and she walked with my brother. And when I got to the firehouse, I started asking teachers that I was familiar with, that I knew, you know, where's Vicki? Where's Mrs. Soto? And they all just looked at me and they said they didn't know. They didn't know where she was. Carly, the uh, firehouse. He's mentioned the firehouse, and I think that Bill Ellenberg mentioned the firehouse as well. What was what was going on in the firehouse? Everyone that was missing a loved one, we were all put in a firehouse in this back room, and we were asked to put our loved one's name on a piece of paper. And after that, a state trooper was issued to us, and we had to give our loved one's description. And because I didn't see her that day, I had asked the teacher, you know, what was Vicki wearing? And she had described Vicki had, you know, multiple shirts on with tank tops underneath, her high boots, and a green scarf. And I relayed that information to the state trooper. And I remember telling him, she looks just like me. We, uh, did, did you and, and, and or your mom and or your brother or your other sister, uh, were you trying to contact Vicki during this time? The whole way up to the school, I was texting her. And all I wanted to do was see those three little dots on the iPhone saying that she was replying. I called, leaving voicemails, just saying, Vicki, please just call us back. Just say that you're okay, that you're taking care of the kids. And can we pull up um, Plans Exhibit 290? Which, what exhibit is that, Attorney Bosco? 290. Thank you. Your Honor, I do not have that as a close as the bigger. One moment, please. Take your time. Why don't we take it down then? We'll make sure it's marked as a close exhibit. This is 290. <laughs> Um, and is this a is this a photograph uh, that you uh, is that you in the photograph? Yes. And was that a photograph that uh, became widely distributed? To your knowledge. Yes, it was. And uh, is this you trying to reach or, or speaking to somebody else about Vicki? Yes, I had called my friend. Um, we were told that there were multiple casualties. And at this time, we had known that there was kids that were killed. Sorry, you did know or did not? We knew that some kids were killed. But at this time, I didn't know that Vicki was dead for sure. And um, what was this time? This is before we were informed. Um, I was standing at a bear, 
had a barrier at the end of um, the access road that went up to Sandy Hook. And they had made a barricade where no one could go up to the school. And I was just standing there waiting, hoping that she was going to come down. Come down the hill holding her kids' hands. Was this, Carly, within, would you say this was within uh, two or three hours of shooting? Yes. Did you ever hear of a man named Alex Jones prior, prior to the shooting? No. Did you ever publish any lies about him, do anything to him? No. Did you know that within three hours of the shooting in Austin, Texas, Alex Jones was going on air talking about the shooting? No, sir. Did you know he had tens of millions of listeners? No. Did you know at the time that you knew that there were children dead, that he was already at work questioning the shooting? No. Was there anybody at the scene who was questioning the shooting? No. Everyone was just questioning where their loved one was. Did you see any frauds or imposters or actors on the scene? No. Were people taking it seriously? Objection. Sorry, objection. Calls for conclusion, but states of mind. Did it appear to you that people were taking it seriously? Yes. It Every, everyone was in tears. Everyone, everyone knew that something serious had happened. It was traumatic being in that firehouse. Did, um, did there come a time when you learned that your sister had, had died? We were told that we would be, we'd be at the firehouse well into the night. And when this was said, a parent of a child stood up and yelled, where are they? What hospital are they at? Just tell us so we can go be with them. And right after that, we were told that everyone had expired. And those exact words, that everyone in that room had lost someone. And who uttered those words? I believe it was the governor. And where, where were those words uttered? In the firehouse. And um, what's happened now? I assume you went, at, I mean, just, I don't want to drag you from all this. Can you just tell us, at, at some point you decided to tell us what happened the day you leaving? When we were told that everyone had expired, I ran out of the room. I ran out of the room and fell into a firefighter's arms who was standing outside. And my dad had came up behind me and he said, we need to go, we need to go home. We, there's no reason for us to stay here anymore. And so we were all ushered into cop cars. Well, at least my family, I, I can't, I don't know what really happened with everyone else. And we were brought in cop cars and we were driven home. And I remember my mom in the back seat just calling people, saying that she was dead. And it was the most bizarre thing that has ever happened to me because I couldn't believe my older sister, who's a teacher, was shot. How many, um, how many people would you say were on the scene? Hun were there hundreds or thousands or somewhere? In I, I want to say hundreds. And um, did there come a time, uh, and your sister, uh, you, you, your business is buried where? My sister's buried at Union Cemetery in Stratford. Okay. Now, did there come a time, uh, Carly, where you became aware 